everyone. My name is Josh Boyd. I joined Elite FT in 2007, and I've been a lifer since 2016. I am presenting on the core value discipline. Being disciplined means having the ability to maintain control through confident leadership. A disciplined environment isn't one in which all the participants maintain control. I believe I was chosen to present on maintaining control because of my ability to manage personalities. I also have the ability to cater to each player's needs, to have an understanding that this kid may be a little more hyper, a little more energetic than the other kid. You have to make sure that you get all of your kids on the same page so that they can all accomplish the same goal. We want to make sure that they have fun, that they're challenged, and that they're educated. In doing so, you almost have to make it like a classroom setting. You know, A few kids are going to be rowdy. Some kids are going to be louder than others. Some kids are just going to look like they're not engaged. That's your job is to manage those personalities. Get the kids who aren't engaged, engaged. The kids that are loud, get them to quiet down. The kids that are running all over the place, you have to get them to be patient and still. And one of the things that I love to do is tell them, hey, you give me 10 to 15 minutes of this, and I'll let you have 10 to 15 minutes of uh, playtime, or I'll let you have 10 to 15 minutes of being creative and being crazy, wild and yelling and having fun. And typically that works. So you got to find the balance to make sure that you give the kids what they want, but their kids also have to give you what you want. As the coach, you set the example. Always do the right thing, even when no one is watching. You maintain control and the athletes will follow. Coaches, you should always keep your cool, even when the athletes are acting up. Demand eye contact and silence when you speak. Athletes should not be moving their ball or messing with their gear or even disrupting other players while you're speaking. Challenge the athletes to work hard and give everything they have. Keep the athletes active through sessions with minimum standing still. Short leash. If an athlete who has a behavior problem, keep them on a short leash, which means you say their name often, keep a close eye on them, and keep them close to you. Disciplining of athletes could include having them do sprints, push-ups, burpees, star jumps. If multiple athletes are messing around and being disruptive, separate the disobedient athletes. Put them in different groups. Put them across from different grids. Coaches should have obedient athlete, disobedient athletes stand nearby and remind them of the rewards, such as being able to play the games or the scrimmage at the very end. For ages six and under, if an athlete won't separate from their ball, put in a place close by and visible for that athlete. During activities such as tail feather or knockout, do not play elimination. Create a grid on the outside and have them do activities to get back in to rejoin, like penguins or flamingos. If an athlete runs off the field during an activity, one of the coaches must bring them back while the other coach continues. If you are the only coach, you should have the other athletes keep playing or freeze while you get the athlete back. If an athlete is too physical, bring them to the side and explain sportsmanship or that we want them to play hard but not hurt anyone. If any athlete, if an athlete during a scrimmage or activity is taunting other athletes, say they're better, you're not any good, calmly but immediately pull them to the side, ask the athlete how it would feel if someone were to do it to them. If a parent comes onto the field, help assess the situation and if needed, find your director to address the situation. I think in closing, um, I think it's safe to say that you wanna make sure that your group is under control and that you're doing the things that you should be doing. Um, don't allow one bad apple to spoil the bunch.